Hey guys, I'm top music attorney, Miss Crystal, and today I'm giving you a real music lawyer's reaction to YNW Melly's Murder On My Mind official music video. Let's get into it. Hi guys, I'm top music attorney, Miss Crystal. I'm an entertainment attorney, public speaker, and creator of the Top Music Attorney School for Artists and Record Labels. I'm the owner of Dukes Up Records, and most importantly, I'm an independent artist. Don't forget to subscribe and turn on those bell notifications so you don't miss my weekly videos giving you my best tips on the music business, industry news updates, and teaching you how to stay legally protected. All right, so a lot just happened there. We saw that someone had been shot or stabbed or they were bleeding. Um, someone else was applying medical care. There were police standing around. Now, obviously, once the police arrive, typically, if there's some kind of crime scene, you're not going to be able to touch the person, whether they're just injured or they're now dead. And then we saw, you know, flashes of now he's in jail. And we saw just for a moment, he's in a restraint jacket as well. So I don't know if that's meant to just kind of showcase that this had to do with mental health or just maybe he feels obviously caged and restrained, but let's get into it. So he's obviously in jail. He says, I ain't getting no swishes. He can't smoke any weed. He's not seeing his family. Christmas passed. So, and then he also mentions that there are snitches. Okay, so while he's in jail, he's talking about someone or people snitched on him. And obviously, that's not a good thing. There's retaliation that's usually associated with that. But then we did see for a moment, someone's talking to the police officer and then pointing over. And so now we're thinking, well, is there some kind of premeditation of something that's going to happen? Right? The title of the song is Murder on My Mind. So is he planning on murdering someone because they snitched on him? Now, something worth mentioning is that Pursuant to street code, snitching is not a good thing. There might be retaliation, but something to keep in mind is that if there is a crime that's committed and then someone assists in any way after the fact, well, then you could potentially be an accessory after the fact to that crime. But then additionally, if you know something, right, in most states, there's no Good Samaritan statute that says, hey, you got to go and you have to report it. You have to do the right thing. No, there usually is no law saying you have to go and tell if you know something. However, the difference is if a police officer pursuant to his or her investigation asks you a direct question, if you lie, then you potentially are impeding an investigation. So there could be charges brought against you if you don't tell the truth. When I'm all alone in my jail cell, I tend to get in my feelings. And all I smoke is that loud. Don't pass me no midget. And I'm gonna smoke all of my pain away because that's the only thing that gonna heal it. I don't So back to kind of the mental health, he says he has trust issues with women. He's getting up in his feelings. And he even mentioned promethazine, which is a prescription drug. He mentioned Molly, right? So the use of drugs, if he's saying that he's doing this while in jail, that can add sentence time, of course, if you're committing crimes while you're in jail. So hopefully he had at least a prescription for promethazine. Seven's Mac 11's Glocks and Nines and all these pussy niggas Hating, trying to knock me off my grind But I can't let them do it I got murder on my mind, bitch I 
So one thing I'll just insert, as he has murder on his mind, he literally named out Glocks, Nines. If he committed a crime using any of these weapons, this video, this song could be used against him in a court of law because he is basically admitting that these are weapons that he uses and he's admitting that he participates in criminal activity. So not a great thing. And I'll also mention that we see snakes, we see animals in this video. And so when it comes to having animals on your production, it depends where you live, of course, there might be permitting required. You might need to have an animal handler just to make sure that those animals are being taken care of. And of course, we hope that that happened in this situation. I got murder on my mind. I didn't mean to shoot him, he just caught me by surprise. So back to the premeditation, well, maybe if I was defending him, I would say at best we have manslaughter. He, he was surprised, he accidentally shot someone, but again, he had a weapon, he was doing something. So that plays into what was his intent. Was he going to harm someone? And then he just accidentally shot the wrong person. So when you're looking at kind of the different levels of seriousness of whether you're getting first degree homicide versus a manslaughter charge, these things will play into that analysis. And of course, at this point, we have abundant clarity that there was in fact a fatality, not just from the visual, but he's saying his family is now wearing his face on a shirt as a memorial. So I don't know about you guys, but I'm kind of taking this as a sequence of events, right? So he, you know, may have shot someone accidentally. I don't know what the situation was. He's now in jail from that commission of a crime. And, and it was because someone snitched on him. And now he has murder on his mind. So I don't know if that means now he is planning to do something to kill someone else while he's in jail. But um, that's kind of what I'm getting from the music video and the song thus far. And I will say when you had that scene a moment ago where he's holding this poor guy who was just accidentally shot, I definitely felt that from the song and the visual, and I definitely felt bad for that guy. I got murder on my mind. I got murder on my mind. I got murder on my mind. Bible no bitch, I'm an animal. Melee's a savage, no, he not no amateur. Baby's my answer, no father on camera. Bitch, I'm a murderer. Yeah, I'm a dick kiddo, but don't want to kill him. So again... Bitch, I'm a murderer. He just admitted in a song, in a video, that he murdered someone. It was a little hard to make that out. I think I just saw chickens hanging upside down. So again, let's hope that those were props and not actual chickens or roosters or whatever they are. But um, a lot of a lot of states are very, very strict in the treatment of animals and they will cite you and they will sometimes even impose jail time if you mistreat animals, especially as you're making a music video. <laughs> murder on my mind. Wow, 
Wow, a very powerful video, a very powerful song. I definitely felt it, um, particularly in that, that one section where we see the person actually passing away and being afraid. Now, you know, going back to just how can this be used in a court of law, it absolutely can. And we've seen this time and time again. If you have an admission of guilt or you're talking about your premeditation, I mean, he said, I have murder on my mind no less than several dozen times throughout this video. This is something that's going to be used against them, especially if there are some kind of murder charges. Um, and so, you know, especially for rappers who want to talk about what they've been through, what they're experiencing. You have to be very careful with what you put in your music and your videos. Basically, in other words, what I'm saying is tell your story, be artistic, but let's make it fiction rather than the real thing. If you're interested in checking out a little of what I do musically, just search Miss Crystal on all music platforms. Don't forget to come say hi on social media. I'm at Top Music Attorney on all social media platforms. And if you happen to be an independent artist and you're looking for help or you're trying to start a record label, visit topmusicattorney.com. I have all kinds of free courses to help you get started today. Don't forget to subscribe, turn on those bell notifications so you don't miss any new videos from your new favorite redhead. I'm Top Music Attorney, Miss Crystal. Bye guys.